Hello everybody, Doc here, and today is banless season. Sort of, it was banless season the other day. Master Duel's getting a ban list. Yay. The Advanced is getting a ban list. Weird timing, Konami. So I am like, let's talk about Speed Duels. Now, Speed Duels ban list is fine if deeply quirky. There are cards on there that have zero reason to be on there. Not like it's unique in that regard, but unique in its regard are the cards that are on there that really, really have done nothing and don't deserve to be on there at all, but are on there entirely for a legacy reason of advance that is not true in Speed Duels. So, I figured, and apparently Team, team JDG did as well, to do a ban list video. They did theirs and I kind of watched it. I skimmed. Didn't actually steal any ideas, but I skimmed. And good points all around. I, as you can all see, made my own. With my own logic. So we're just going to go from a band to down to the threes. And I will give you my reasoning behind them. There's one thing I did here that I deeply, deeply question. And we will get to that when we get to it. So, starting with the top. We banned Waking the Dragon. I don't need to explain it. It's a stupid, sacky card that should never have been printed in this game. Get the hell out of here. If you want to make Ojama King straight up, you go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. It's still stupid and sacky, but it doesn't auto-win you the game. So you can keep that one. Keep that one on me. Waking, out. Limit 1s. You're going to notice that Limit 1s look... alone. It's Jinzo and Zoma and Pharaoh's Treasure, weirdly enough. I don't need to explain Jinzo and Zoma. They stay there because they deserve to be there. And I will get into the unlimits all the way at the end, but I'm going to tell you why Pharaoh's Treasure's here. It's my hit to stall. Now, there's a lot of things we can do to hit stall. As you can see on this list, there's a couple other ones. But I'm hitting Pharaoh's Treasure because you can't go infinite now for no effort. Do you want to go infinite? You get to run Mask of Darkness now. I'm not going to stop you from doing that one. I'm not putting Mask of Darkness on this list. You, you need way more and better traps for me to put Mask of Darkness on this list. Because I'm not doing it now. Pharaoh's Treasure doesn't really have any cost, so go ahead. You, you don't want to run Jinzo and Zoma? You can go right ahead and run Pharaoh's Treasure then. I don't care. But you will only run one copy. We're only doing that anyway, but that's not my point. That's my hit to stall. You want to go infinite? It costs you now. It's not free. On to the limit twos. There's only one. It's Floodgate. That's it. It's just Floodgate. Now, I am, in theory, not against there being three Floodgates. The problem is, there's still a distinct lack of good tributes. Jinzo is still our best tribute. Can we please get a Monarch that's not Grand Mark? I mean, Grand Mark's trying his best. He really is, but... Grand Mark does not make a Monarch deck. Can we get Mobius? Please? I'll take the Stalos. I understand why you're hesitant about Zaborg. It's fine. You don't have to give me Zaborg. But... The Stalos is fine. Yes, he's a burn card, but calm down. It's so tangential, it's not even funny. Just... One more Monarch, please. And maybe another one tribute. I mean, Cider really helps, but you know what I mean. Until we get to better tribute monsters, I still can't believe I'm saying that, Floodgate has to be at two, otherwise you can lock all the zones. And that's the same reason Nightmare Wheel has to stay here, and then Cocoon and Paranoid are here for Moth. They're not coming off. Unless we put Paranoid to one. Like, that's the only way. Seriously, we could do that. We could put Paranoid to one and take Cocoon off then, because Cocoon doesn't matter. But, no, we're just going to leave those two alone. The threes are where things get weird. Okay? Deity Warrior Lady, Breaker. There's no debate in my mind those two stay there. I am, however, hesitant with Book. And as you notice, Cosmic is off. That's the other one. So I put Book and Cosmic together in my own mind because, frankly, I feel one stays on and the other can come off. Book probably could. It's a very skill-intensive card. It's a stun card at worst. 
maybe that can come off. I took Cosmic off as another hit to TP Volcanic, because as you can see, I'm being very generous to TP Volcanic. You can do the combo. Okay. I may as well just talk about that now, because these are all interrelated with one another. Cosmic's taken off for a TP Volcanic hit. TP Volcanic still has its full combo here. You can still run your two Ladybugs and your one Twisted Personality. Because I ultimately don't think it's a problem. The problem comes from the fact that you can do a bunch of other stuff. Doing the combo loses you your other normal summon, which was Breaker. Now, as a secondary hit, because I realize this might not be enough for some people. Also, I just didn't feel like putting Ladybug any higher than three. Frankly, it doesn't do anything else. Like, yeah, you want to run three Ladybug in, like, your brother's Paradox deck? Cool. Right? Like... Whatever, dude, you're still gonna get double offerings to the Doomed out of the game. All the all the Ladybugs are doing is giving you slightly more time to do that. It's not guaranteeing in one turn, I suppose. But should I hit Stall more? Maybe. But Cosmic is a hit specifically to Volcanic because it just takes out the Blaze Accelerator. Now, is that too much? Have I given Beatdown too much free reign? Maybe. I am slightly concerned that I have given Beatdown too much free reign. Beatdown is very good. I'm not going to pretend it's not. The thing is, that's why I didn't want to completely kneecap Volcanic. TP Volcanic is generally fine. It's not horrifically oppressive. It's an extremely slow, grindy control deck that's just kind of irritating to deal with because it just always has an answer. Which is why I'm taking away its generic answers. You want the combo? You pay for the combo now. I think that's very fair. Beatdown, I think, is specifically good against Volcanic, and if we remove this, I think other things that can be Beatdown will come to the fore. Part of this is, is TP Volcanic does keep away the large boss monster style decks because they don't have any form of protection unless you're a normal monster and then you can do things like run Heat Wave and other silly things. Because they don't have Champs Vig or some sort of negate. Basically, we take this and tone it down so it's not the most powerful deck. Beatdown will technically rise up, but Beatdown's flaw is, well, okay, you can, if you're playing actual Beatdown, you can get reasonably large, but you're pretty much beat out by every boss. The Magnets will beat you. Doomfire will beat you. If some crazy person figures out how to make a Guardian work, it'll beat you. A bunch of the Fusions will beat you. Basically, yeah, you can do a bunch of damage, but you're still going down. And I understand Waking was keeping a whole bunch of insane back row destruction in check, and removing Cosmic is probably questionable. So, put it this way. If you don't like Cosmic being free, then you can free Book of Moon. Or we can leave both of them at three. It's kind of fine that way. I just feel it's a little weird because everyone's kind of realized that Breaker's probably the best limit three. Generically speaking. Unless your deck completely loses to Jinzo, then you're running Book of Moon. Now, let's talk about the unlimits. It's all the stupid crap. Allure, Union Hanger, Metaverse, Foolish. None of those deserve to be on the list. None of them. I mean, hell, the Metaverse, Union Hanger, and Foolish Hits were just dragging Unions out back, kicking and screaming while Konami was viciously loading a C96 Mauser. I don't know what Unions did to them, but holy crap, there was no reason to massacre them that hard on the list. The only other deck I ever saw run Foolish was Cyberdarks. And that was like in a testing style that I don't think is actually worth it. The Cosmic unbanning is actually really beneficial for Cyberdarks, because they play the hell out of it, so they can actually play, like, Book of Moon, too. So, point that one out. So, Foolish doesn't need to be here. It's used in all of two decks, and does basically nothing. Allure of Darkness is in absolutely no good decks, and even completely unlimited, I don't think anyone's gonna play it. Keep it in mind for later. It's fine. You can do that for later. Rhoda... There's an argument for it, but it definitely did not deserve to be put to one. It's one in advanced, but I don't care about advanced. This is speed duels. What are you, no one plays one Rota, okay? 
The choice is between Jinzo and Rhoda. Jinzo wins. Unless for some reason your deck can't play Jinzo, then and happens to be able to play Rhoda, then you can play the Rhoda. But then you're fighting Zoma, and Zoma's a really solid power one of. Now, you could just do what Reaper does and has Rhoda to two. Better, better argument. But with Floodgate to two, Floodgate's always gonna beat it. Put it to three, but then you're running like two Rhoda and one DD Warrior Lady, and that just feels awkward, and frankly, I don't care. You want to run three Rhoda in your Warrior Toolbox deck, you go right ahead. You have a really low ceiling on that deck. Great toolbox potential, a lot of fun, perfectly fair deck, I don't mind. It's not worth being on the freaking list. And then Metaverse being on there was just dumb. There's like all of three field spells being used. And I was being nice, because when it was here, it was two, but I'm being nice and counting Umi in there. Now that it's Alo, it's definitely getting used, but my point stands. Three field spells, people. Three field spells. Okay? There's no reason to frickin' do that. And I know I haven't mentioned Union Hanger, but it's part of the big Union debuffing, so that one's self-explanatory. You nerf the skill, leave them alone. Like, they haven't done anything since then because it was so harsh. So... With all that being said, this is my fairly soft list. I am not being excessively harsh. I am hesitant on the cosmic one, but frankly, go for it. That's kind of my stance. Go for it. If beatdown's too good, maybe we slap beatdown on the list. Maybe in the one so they can't play Jinzo. I don't know. What do you all think? You tell me. Where did I screw up? Do you agree with this? Do we need a new ban list? I kind of want a new ban list in like December or so to kind of spruce things up before we get the new box, but that's just me. Anyway, I will see you guys all later. Peace out, everybody.